Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James, where I awaken the astrologer within you. Um, today we are gonna go ahead and get into my sun series. We're gonna get into the sun in the first house. Now, before I get into that, what I mean by that initially in my intro is that, you know, I feel that in a time before iPhones and iPads and YouTube and Instagram and, you know, technology just in general, we all had a connection to the stars and we knew how to align to them. And so I'm just here to give you the tools that you may have forgot and show you what are the placements in your chart. And so today I want to talk about sun and first house. So with sun in the first house, this is going to make you almost like a Suedo Leo. This is akin to Leo in the first house because the sun is going to be highlighting your appearance and um, highlighting who you are. Now, the sun in general means that you, the sun in the birth chart is going to indicate the hero's journey. It's going to be where your soul is the theme of the life that um, the soul is colored in, if that makes sense. Like whatever house the sun is in is gonna be the themes that play out in this person's life. And it's also gonna be like the center, the person. It's who you are in your complete essence. That's who you are and what you're focused on in this life. And so if you have sun in the first house, this is gonna mean two things. This is gonna mean that for you, again, um, how people see you is going to be in a very Leo-esque way. People are going to see you shine. People are going to give you acknowledgments. People are going to see you as confident. People are going to see you as beautiful. People are going to see you as charismatic and um, um, charming, you know, because you're, you have the sun in your first house. Now, in the first house is your body. You know, it's your appearance. It's how others see you. It's um, your physical nature. It's also your head. So, again, it, you could have a really good head of hair. You could have hair like the sunshine or hair that's really big and wild because the sun is in the first house. Now, this could also mean that for you, you feel very, you feel at home in your body and a lot of the things in your life are going to regard around you focusing on you. Maybe you focusing on your body or you are going to be very attuned to your body and probably making it look very well to the public or making it look very nice. You know, you're going to be somebody that takes appearances very um, seriously. You're not going to want to slack, as they say. You're going to be somebody that is very, very, very beautiful and charming. And you also, when you step into a room, people have a sense of spotlight on you. You have a sense of spotlight on you, and that is very uh, palpable when you walk into a room. Now, with the first house, this could be seen as your rising sign, you know, so whatever your rising sign is, it can be Cancer, it can be Libra, it can be Scorpio, still, the sun is only going to magnify that sign. So this is just a general, of course, placement video, but with sun in the first house, you're going to be someone that whatever the sign is, you're going to have you can't hide. That's what I'm trying to get at, is that you can't hide. Even if you're a Scorpio, even if you're a shy Cancer or a timid um, Virgo, what you do in this life is going to be highlighted and it's going to be acknowledged and it's going to be seen and it's going to be for people to see. You're not going to be able to hide it no matter how hard you try, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's Sun in the first house. So with Sun in the first house as well, Sun you know, with the first house being here in Leo, you are, but in Aries, in its original house, or its original ruler of the first house, you're gonna be someone that also takes action. You're not gonna wait around for things to happen a lot of times. You are going to be um, very initiative in the goals and the dreams that you have in this life. Like, for you, I'm sure waiting around and leaving things up to chance is very hard for you. Like. And, and people probably rely on you to get things done. People probably come to you and say, oh my God, like, can you help me talk to this person? Or can you help me um, meet this person or do this thing for me? Like, because you have a lot of fire energy in your first house. You, have, you probably have a lot of energy just in general. Like, you probably wake up and you're probably someone that doesn't really need coffee, you know? Like, because again, you have your ego, your power in your body. It's like in you, you know, the sun is in your body. And you probably feel very at home in your body to the point that when you wake up, it's time to go. Like, I don't need coffee, like, let's get it. Let's get it popping, let's go. Um, I'm on to the next, I'm getting these dreams, like, and so, 
Yeah, that can come off very strong to a lot of people. You can come off, again, very confident, very strong, very magnetic to people. And in the sense of you're very warm and inviting, you're very charming, very charismatic. You probably have a smile that's like the sun or you like just look very approachable and beautiful. And that's why people give you acknowledgement because you're very easy to be around. You're like the sun, like who doesn't like the sun, right? You probably have a lot of friends, a lot of acquaintances. Now, um, what I will say, a negative side to sun in the first house would probably be um, having maybe a selfish streak or thinking about yourself too often. Now, depending on the placements in your house though, this is what you're probably meant to do in this life is focus on yourself. You're probably in situations, if I know the universe to be the universe that I serve, you are probably put in situations where the right thing to do is choose yourself, you know? But that's probably hard for you because you being a son in the first house, you probably want to make others feel how you feel. You probably want others to be as confident as you are confident. And you probably get people that come to you and want to gain confidence by proximity to you. You know how you have people that come to you and they love your energy and they love your confidence and so they in some subconscious way by being your friend or being around you, they're like, oh my God, like maybe I can get confident like like the son in the first house, my son in the house, first house friend. But for you, you're like, but you're doing A, B, and C and that's not making you very confident or you're doing A, B, and C and that's making you lose your path or lose your way. You know, you try to probably help people, but ultimately you probably end up just going like, you know what, I, I think it's just best that I focus on myself because it's taking too much energy out of me. So that is, yeah, Sun in the First House. And that was my little analysis of Sun in the First House. You know, there's not really much there. It's really like, again, Sun is your vitality, it's your energy, it's where you are seen and where you shine the most. And your first house is the house of your appearances and how the world sees you. It's your physical image to the world. And when you combine those two um, things, you get someone that is caught up a lot in the way they appear to the world and or you feel very at home in your body. You probably love working out. You probably love staying active. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so that was my video. If you need a comprehensive in-depth uh, birth chart regarding the unique placements within your chart, just email me or hit my links below and I'll be happy to help you. I know that placements can get a little crazy, you know, when you combine everything and you are the sum of all your parts, not just one of them. So, um, yeah, that was my son in the first house video. Write down below what sign you are son in the first house and I'll write back and give you a little analysis on that. Yeah, I will give you a little freebie and that will also help awaken the astrology in you because I do believe there's an astrologer in all of us and you are meant to know your intricacies. You are meant to know your quirks. And once you know those quirks, you'll know they're on purpose for a purpose. I love y'all. Y'all have a good one, all right? Bye.